During last October's Synod of Bishops on the Family, Pope Francis encouraged lively discussion to address the many important issues at hand. Pastoral care to poor and marginalized families, divorced and remarried Catholics and their admittance to the Eucharistic Communion, and outreach to those with same-sex attraction. What resulted was lively discussion both inside and out. With the second installment of the Synod coming up this October, some are already making their own contributions through prayer. In Rome, Christy McCarthy has started a campaign inviting the world to participate. The Novena will begin in February. In fact, every Thursday, every first Thursday of the month from, Thurs from February until October, there will be some hours of adoration in various churches and basilicas right around the world in five continents. And uh, we are all praying, as the Holy Father has asked us to do, to pray for this next synod. The Eucharistic Adoration Society for the Synod on the Family 2015 is an open invitation for all the world's Catholics to join together to pray for grace for the Synod Fathers and Pope Francis. It stems from McCarthy's personal feelings about the first synod last fall. In this furor of, of disappointment, dissatisfaction with the last synod, we spoke to many people in Rome, um, hierarchy, um, hierarchy from other countries, not just from, from Italy, and people passing through, uh, seminarians, young priests, religious, and uh, a lay people as well who had been at the synod. And in the end, my conclusion was, we can talk about this, we can even gossip about this. Um, we, can, we can make a lot of statements about what we should and shouldn't be doing or what they should and shouldn't be doing. But in the final conclusion, the only thing that's going to help, I think, is prayer. I know how powerful prayer is in my own life and in the lives of people who have been in parishes with me. And um, I just know that um, if you ask God, he will help you. Special feast days mark the way, all under the special protection of St. Therese of Lisieux, the campaign's patroness. McCarthy hopes worldwide adoration will help the Synod this October as it discusses how to best care for families. It's a very simple thing, adoration, and yet it yields such tremendous power.